We're Sarah and Kate, and this is everything we did on our seventh day on board p and Iona for the Northern Europe City Escape. Bruges was our last port and last full day on Iona. This is an industrial port, so when we got off the ship, we were not allowed to walk there. So we had to board buses that took us to a terminal, and it was from here that you could get more buses or coaches to your trips, or you could then walk into the city from here. Unlike previous stops in Hamburg and Rotterdam, this did take some time, especially when it was time to board the ship again, as everyone had to go through security to then get back on the buses to get back on the ship. So for this port, it was super important that we kept track of time. We'd recommend setting timers while exploring so you don't get wrapped up and have to wait or even miss the bus back to the ship. We'd booked a morning walking tour and river trip, which included an hour of free time in the city centre afterwards. We were given headphones and a receiver so we could easily hear what was being said, no matter our position in the group. Our tour guide was a local who was very passionate about the area, and we learned a lot, stopping plenty of times to point out different areas of interest. But it was quite fast paced, so difficult to take pictures, and if you're someone who struggles with fitness or mobility across uneven paths, this might not be the excursion for you. As we reached the river before the boat was ready to go, our guide took us to a few extra areas to fill the time. Going through the rivers was really nice and felt Bruges had a similar feel to Oxford and Cambridge. During our free time afterwards, one thing we misjudged is that we thought the coach would pick us up in the city centre. So we brought a lot of things, cheese, chocolate, beers and presents, but we actually had to do the walking tour back to the bus meeting point. This time there was no starting and stopping and the walk definitely felt a lot longer as we carried everything back. So if you plan on buying gifts, a backpack with plenty of space is essential. Once back on the ship, we had a late lunch at the Keys before seeing Gareth Oliver again. But this time it was at the clubhouse. This was his second comedy set, which was just as good as the first. The clubhouse is smaller and very popular, so we arrived early to get a good seat. There were three shows that day, so staff do encourage you to leave relatively quickly once it's over, so they can get set up for the next showing. For dinner, we ate in the main dining room before heading to see a musical in the Headliners Theatre, which we really enjoyed. With our last day finished, it was time to pack our cases and place them outside the door. The crew had placed an envelope with our time and location to leave the ship, which was 10 a.m. If you want to self-disembark, do not leave your cases outside the door the night before, as you will take them with you when you leave. We kept our mini cases with us that had all our clothes and bits and bobs we'd need for the morning before we went to bed. And that was the end of day seven. Waking up on day eight, it was time to leave the ship. Everyone who wanted to self-disembark had to leave the ship between 7.30 and 8 a.m. As we left our cases out the night before, and our time to leave the ship was 10 a.m., we went to the main dining room to have a leisurely breakfast, at which point the captain arrived and announced that they were ahead of schedule and we could leave as soon as we liked. So we finished breakfast, left the ship and went to the luggage room. All of the luggage is organized by deck. So we went to deck 10, found our cases and walked out to collect the car. Here we just needed to hand in our receipt, which they gave us when we arrived to park and then head to the correct bay. Just make sure to double check if the handwriting is unclear. You don't want to waste time searching the wrong bay if you can't read their handwriting. All in all, it was an amazing first cruise and Sarah definitely got the bug to travel again because she booked another cruise to see the Norwegian fjords. And if you want to see how that went, you can check out this video here. 